Hello guys, it's been a while. Uh, very happy to be back to YouTube and create some useful tutorials for you to make your life with account engagement easier. Today, uh, I would like to discuss how we can create a test list in Pardot, how we can add a prospect to a test list, and how we can send a test email to see how our new email template that we have created in Lightning is actually looking like and whether all the links and all the accessories, all the images are actually visible and appear as expected. So let's dive in. So uh, I am currently now already logged in into the Salesforce. And first thing first, uh, we're going to start with creating a test list. Uh, easy way to access test list is by go to prospects tab. Here on the side, we're going to have a menu and under the segmentation, I'm going to be able to click segmentation list and press on the add list. So I'm going to call my list Alexandra test list. And uh, what we must select is this email test list, because when we are testing email templates, we are not sending it to a, a static list or dynamic list. It specifically needs to be test list. I'm checking that and pressing on create a list. So now when the list is ready, I am going to a prospects tab over here. I'm pressing on create a new prospect and I'm going to type in Alexandra Pareto Pi, Alexandra Pareto Pi, uh, Pareto Pi uh, campaign. Let's see if we have a test campaign. No, uh, maybe email. I have forgotten. Uh, yeah, just yeah, let's let's use this old one. Uh, profile default score zero. And here we can already add prospect to a list over here. Uh, I'm going to select one list over here as well. Uh, but to show you the long way, so you remember and you're fully aware, if I'm now searching for Alexandra, I have, this is the new Alexandra Pro Pipe prospect I just created. So in general, whenever you are uh, creating new prospect or you want to add already existing prospect like for example you have decided to create a list with all internal users or maybe somebody new joined your team and you just want to add a new member to a list you would go to a prospect you would click on this list tab over here you would type in for the list name you just have created add choose and press save lists when this is done you can go to a new email builder. So here I have created a couple of reusable templates. Uh, now I will going to go to email content and make sure uh, you have all these tabs available and visible for you. So I can click on new. Uh, I need to give it a test name. So let's say test uh, email uh, template. Uh, I'm going to select the email template that I have created. Uh, let's say uh, all templates, all. So here is the number two and I'm going to press on save. Perfect. So now I have created the test email. And now for me, obviously, you will going to go to edit in the builder. So as a, for example, marketing representative, uh, an admin can create an email templates for you that you can reuse and create list email. So in your case, you would select the email template the same way as I did. You would come over here and obviously update the email template, add images, texts, everything that you need to do. When you're happy, you press save. Uh, obviously, here are like a lot of things that you can do. You can add the paddings. Uh, padding is like a thing that adds over here. I can do maybe another tutorial about that in a different video. Or actually, I have a full 35 minutes how to use this builder uh, email 
uh, editor. Uh, when we're happy, uh, we are pressing save. So I'm not going to go into the editing mode, but what I want to show you is how you actually send the test email. So you would go to uh, and to the email itself, you would click on this arrow and here is a test option. And over here, uh, you can select the Alexandra test list and you can send test email. And the reason why I prefer to use Pardot list instead of the individual emails, because if you have merge fields uh, and merge fields are even all the preference center links, unsubscribe links, everything that is underneath, uh, this is how, and this is the way they will gonna fully appear and will gonna be functional. So you can actually test to make sure that all your variable tags, or if you use any fields like merge fields, to display first name, last name, or email, or any data from any custom or standard object. This is great. So now it's all done. And uh, later on, you can obviously go to your mailbox and see how the email appears and test all your links. I hope this video was useful. Uh, all of the best of the luck with uh, creating and testing your email templates. Bye.